Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Chick-fil-A. Um, so, last video, I'll show you guys how to make Hardee's, big deal. Um, but now, I'll show you guys how to make Chick-fil-A. The first, so, we made ten builds. We're gonna make another set of ten builds, so it's gonna be the first, uh, out of the ten, the next set of ten builds. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is the eleventh city build. Um, so pretty crazy. Um, so, um, I don't know, I guess without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, what you guys are going to need to do is make a grid. It is bay. Okay, it's a 30 by 33. I don't know why I put 20. That actually should be 30, so that's a 30 by 33 block area on the ground. I do highly recommend making the grid, as it will, um, help you, uh, make the Chick-fil-A much easier. Um, and materials you're going to need, you're going to need bricks, uh, red concrete, grass block, white concrete, black concrete, gray concrete, light gray concrete, birch planks, um, quart quartz slab, smooth stone, black glass, black glass paint, or actually you can use whatever colored glass you want, um, doesn't highly matter, um, any kind of door, um, any kind of stair, any kind of fence, any colored uh, carpet, because there's going to be an eating area outside of Chick-fil-A. Um, um, a trash bin, or which is also pretty much a cauldron. Um, any any kind of um, trap door. I put iron because I just think it looks better, but you can use any kind of trap door you want. Um, crafting chest. A chest to put your banners in, just in case anything happens to them. Um, white banner. And, and non-placeable materials. Um, you're going to have to go down to the uh, banner letters video in the description box below where I show you guys how to make banner letters because if I do it in this video it's just going to make the video so much longer. And just to a friendly reminder, there are two C's and two I's in Chick-fil-A. So just so you guys don't have to make those two letters again. Um, and then you're going to need red dye. I mean, unless you're in survival, you might have to make them again. But if you're here in creative, then you know you don't have to make them again because there's two of those letters. And, uh, once you've decided, uh, where you want to place it, I'm going to be placing mine between Carl's Jr. and Wendy's. Uh, so yeah, and also once you've got everything ready, we can begin. So, I got all my materials here. So, you're going to, for this part, you're going to need, because we're going to make the drive through window, and we're, or not the drive through window, uh, well, we'll make that eventually, but we're going to make the drive through road, and then we're going to make the parking lot, and then the outside eating area. So, I'm not sure if all the materials will fit in your hot bar, but... White and gray concrete. Uh, you're also gonna need some grass block. You uh, could use leaves. I'll do. I'll just you have leaves, but that wasn't in the item area because you guys don't 100% need them. It's an optional thing. You don't have to get them. Smooth stone, and then chairs, oak fence. Yeah, see, there's not enough space for everything. So basically, the trap doors you don't really need like immediately. So. So basically, I decided to grid, knock out three, place three of gray concrete, like so. And then one away, you might as well just knock that out, put grass block, but one away from the drive through I want to put one, two, three, four um, concrete, gray concrete that is, two, three, four on either side, because those are going to be the entrances, and then grass block in the middle of those four. Um, great concretes, and then, this is an optional step, you can put leaves, or you don't have to put anything here, you can put flowers as well, if you want to put something here, but before we make the parking lot, we have to make the drive through so, hmm. basically, hmm. Hmm. No, you just basically have to dig all this out and uh, dig out three till it reaches the end, as you guys can see, and then just fill it in. So, uh, 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 uh. Hmm. sorry. Um, but if you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this build because it took a little while to design because when I first designed it. 
It was horrible. Like, it looked like a movie theater instead of a Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I will design a movie theater in the far future, but that, like I said, will be in the far future. I want to make all the fast food restaurants first, and then all the stores, and then so, and then some just original, like, city buildings, like hospital, movie theater, um, fire station, police station, school, all, all that stuff, so. Um, and I'll obviously extend those three rows back like this, so. Um, I also want to make, like, a Nike store, which is actually what TSMC recently made. I will make that in Logansville once I'm done with this tutorial. Um... So, cause really I want to do all the fast food restaurants, um, just so we can get all that over with. And I want to make sure I get all of them, um, uh, like all the common ones and stuff, cause like, once I move to stores I will not do any more fast food restaurants and stuff, so. Um, so yeah, I'll do the stores and then after that we'll get into like, it's so like after stores, we'll get into like sit down and eat restaurants like Olive Garden and Red Lobster. And oh, by the way, you want to extend the parking lot. Um, it rolls back. So that's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty simple. <sighs> sorry if I'm yawning, guys. Yeah, sorry if I'm yawning. It's just, uh, I'm hmm. really tired, but I'm also not like tired. It just takes me a while to kind of get up and get, you know, stuff done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, edit of Psycho Pio's um, anime heartbreak that I actually uploaded yesterday. Um, he didn't approve. He, <laughs> I mean, he's not the only um. I mean, it's just not what he wanted, basically. Um, you know, he wanted some. He wanted his music to be over anime clips. I, I needed Spotify for that, but I couldn't get it because my phone was stupid and it <laughs> would not let me download it. Because I need a bigger SD card, which is also why I can't do like the music video stuff yet. Um, I am uh, working on an album cover. There's only going to be one album cover, so. Unless I ever like a really really popular song, then I'll have it. Then it'll, it'll have its own album cover. But other than, but in, but other than that, it'll, I'll have my own album color cover. It's called Black and Blue. I'll upload a video, which is a very 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 short video, of just the image of it. Um, there are obviously no songs yet, so I haven't uploaded any songs yet. Um, but like oh. Uh, Um, like, I'll write the songs, and then, which is actually what I'm going to focus on doing today, writing some songs, um, for the music videos. I won't make the music videos until I get a bigger SD card, and, and I get some apps for auto-tune and stuff, so, because I really, auto-tune is a big thing if you want music videos, um, mainly because you don't want your voice to, like, I mean, it's not that your voice sounds terrible, I'm sure, but, like, it just makes your voice sound better, auto tune and stuff. Like I'm sure you've heard of like Akon or T Pain, how their voice sounds all kind of like robotic and kind of futuristic, if you know what I mean. You know, it has that the, that really cool voice. That's what that makes their music sound better. You know, um, yeah, it just really makes their music sound better. Or there's also the singers that like have their actual like singing voice, but it's also kind of like it's just more bolder. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you do, then great. Um, but anyway, so, five stone, um, basically meaning five rows of stone. One, two, three, four, five. Because this is going to be a seating area, so, um, so very simple. Dig all this and fill it all up, so. Uh, <laughs> Ugh, sorry if I keep yawning. I might I might yawn a bunch of times in this video. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so 
And also, I tried to live stream off YouTube. I need to get to 1,000 subs for that. Um, which is weird, because I said I was able to live stream. I don't know. Like before. But like, that's how I was able to do that live stream. But, I don't know. It's just kind of confusing. So once you've done that, five rows of stone. Basically, what you want to do is you want to find the middle, but before we do that, we got to make the parking spots. So, on the very edge of the parking spot, or parking lot, sorry. One, two, three, four rows dug out of the ground. Filled in with white. Gap of two. Gap of two. And I might make cars out of rows of three. So you kite So you, oh god. Uh, sorry. But you guys can actually make them rows of three. If you want to. But... But basically, you want to leave gap of two, four, until you basically reach the end. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Dig out four for the space separator, and then fill in four. And those are obviously parking spaces. Um, sorry, the lighting is very weird. Sorry about that. It feels very bright and blurry. But yes, find the middle. It shouldn't be too hard. One, two, three. One. Four. Okay, it should be a little tricky. Um, so the middle is actually, the, the door is actually going to be a one door. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I found the middle. So it's this direct spot right here. Here, I'll place a block there just to kind of, you don't need to put that there. I mean, unless you want to mark that, but you won't need it for the build. So you need to have four spaces on the left and right of this, um, of this, uh, Oh, what is it? It's parking spot separator, and you also want four parking spot separators on either side. So that's just that's basically where the middle is, and then basically, um, uh, um, on the fourth row. So basically, right here, second to last row. You're gonna have to, you can just get rid of your collagens for a moment. Grab oak door, place it there, and then you don't need oak doors anymore after that. And yeah, and then you can basically just get rid of that, if you have it. But, that's where this is going. And then, uh, basically then, what you want to do is you want to grab brick lock. Um, either side, and back, on diagonally like this. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. That's going to be, this is like that tower thing at the front, I'm sure you guys saw. Um, and we'll do that, uh, when we do the building. We basically want to extend that all the way to the end. Um, these, uh, blocks that you pretty much extended upwards like so. All the way to the, actually, you don't want to do that, I'm sorry. You want it to have, you want to do another, actually, you want to do that, but, you don't want to extend them, I'm sorry. You want to extend, you want to do another, uh, up diagonal. And you want the building to be one row behind the stone. Always. Always with every city build, the building must be behind the stone. One row. So, basically pretty simple. And while we're at it, you might you can all, uh, you can pretty much just extend it till the building is one away from the dry through. And this is basically so you can do that. And then, optional step, you can put leaves around the building. Um, I like it because it looks great, but you guys don't have to do this. And there you go. So now we got to make the outside eating area. So you can grab your cauldrons back and put the cauldrons on either side of the door part like so. We'll put the lids once we build up the building. But basically, what you're going to need now, you can get rid of your smooth stone. You won't need it. Grab red concrete. And... Red concrete on the sides here, like so. Gap of three. Oh, red concrete. Gap of three, red concrete, like so. Like so. Um, said that twice, but. <laughs> um, on the front of those red concretes, place um, stairs as seats. Hmm. And place a 
oak fence in the middle with red carpet on top. Those are pretty much supposed to be tables. Oh, come on. There we go. Hmm. Alright. And once you've done that, I'm pretty sure that's the outside complete. Yeah, except for the lids, but we can always put those in later. Or you can leave it like that, because uh, they honestly look fine like that. But you guys can put lids on them if you want. You can get rid of the table materials. Uh, you do need red concrete, though. Just get rid of the stairs, the fence, the carpet, and the cauldrons. Um, and the leaves. You don't need those anymore, either. So get um, both the glass, if I can. <laughs> um, you're probably going to, yeah, you're going to need brick. Um, you're going to need birch, and you're going to need some slab. I believe. Oh, you're also getting some black concrete, but we can always put the put that. Oh yeah. Oh, you don't need white concrete. Well, actually, you do, but that's a that's a minor thing. So you can all you mainly need you mostly need um, black concrete um, um, after or before. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you don't mainly need black concrete. You mainly need brick and wood and glass. But whatever. Um. So anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry, acid in my throat. So, you can dig that out if you want the stone inside there, if you're doing the floor. But, um, the glass for the tower is exactly five blocks up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'll extend that all the way up. Uh, not for this back part behind, but like by the seats here, so I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Right here, because those have got to be brick. Those have got to be brick. So basically grab brick and extend them up like so. And I'm pretty sure you just place brick. I wrote plans just so I don't break anything. Yes, you do grab. You do take brick, place it on top of the glass. Obviously place glass in the middle here like so above the door. Um, I'm pretty sure you just place glass above that. Or, sorry, brick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then you place white concrete on top of that. Or do you not do that? I don't know. Do you not do that? Oh, wait, hang on. I see a mistake that I did. Uh, you want to put brick behind, like, the ends of the tower? Okay, and you don't put this part here. So, then you put brick behind the tower. Not um, diagonally, but behind. I'm sorry. Sometimes mistakes happen. So, <laughs> so that's what you want to have. Yeah, that's why. I, okay, I, I figured it was that. Cause I just was like, wait, what? <laughs> but once you've done that, you want to grab your slab, place it the top half row, like the top half row. I'm sure you guys see this. So you got the brick block here. It's the top half row. Um, below the um, red concrete, and then the top half row uh, on the red concrete. So, or on the red concrete. Sorry, if I but there you go. So that's that. So that's the tower part done, basically. And on either side of the tower, you want to put two black concrete, leave a gap of two, two black concrete, you know, two black concrete going up. Gap two, two block, gap two, two block. There needs to be three windows on each end. Gap two, gap two, two. And I'll obviously fill in, oh, not with that, <laughs> with the black stained glass pane. Or any color glass paint in that matter. <coughs> <coughs> I just think black looks good with this. Like, I just think black glass is a good Chick-fil-A uh, glass color. I don't know. Um, but once you've done that, guys, um, I'm pretty sure, yes, you want to put brick on the top of the glass. So, pretty cool. So both Wendy's and Chick-fil-A both have, like, brick. I'm just as you guys can see, Wendy's has it, too. Um, only Wendy's has the gray, like, window sides there. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to put three rows of birch planks on the top of the... Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that a bit. On the top of the uh, sides here, like so. Top of the windows here, on top of the brick windows you want to put that there. One, two, three, and then you want to put red concrete on the top of that. 
Like so. Oopsie. <laughs> like so. And, uh, I'm going to extend the slab all the way to the end. Like so. This just basically is like that modern design as I always like to use. It just makes the building look good. I like so. And you can already see it's looking Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That's not even a word, but whatever. And here's where you're going to have to make the banner letters. Um, okay. Um, so just, uh, uh, replace all, oh, okay, well, okay, hang on, you need to do this in your inventory to make this faster. Get rid of all this, all the materials, if you want to, I, I just kind of recommend doing it. You don't need to grab the die, I mean, unless you're going to make the banners right now, obviously grab the die, but it's, once you've got the banners, um, the, the banners need to be two away from the side, so that's going to be C, H, I, C, K, and three away from the tower. So two away from the end, three away from the tower. I'm sure you guys are able to locate that. But in this case, it's but on this right side, it's two away from the tower and three away from the end. So F I L. Leave the gap of one A, and then make sure that it's three away. And once it is, that's the sign. And um. I don't know, you guys can keep it if you want to put some kind of sign, but I'm not going to keep it. Because, and I'm not going to show you guys how to make that tricky um, um, Chick-fil-A sign. I'm sure if you guys saw, it's just not fun to make. Uh, I'll probably just make a C in a sign. I don't know, I'll just do that. But, um, but once you've done that, guys, one, that is pretty much the front of Chick-fil-A complete. And you can now add the trash can lids to the trash cans. Oops, there you go. Um, like so. And basically once you've done that, that is Chick-fil-A. That's the front of it at least, complete. So, the side, you're gonna need black stained glass pane, or any color glass pane that matter. Um, red concrete, quartz slab, birch planks, brick, and uh, black concrete. And uh, that's about it. So, Come to the side, you could copy the other side as well. I need to switch my plans here. Sorry if you hear paper, that's just my plans. I like to write blueprints, technically, you know. Blueprints. <laughs> but, okay. So there's two windows on each side. Oh, so you want to put, so this, uh, this side of the window has already been made for us, as you guys can see. So, two with the pane. Black concrete, two with the paint, black concrete, and this is all filled in, so, unless you're putting a drive through window here, you can also put one on the other side, but there needs to be one drive through window. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but, but, um, no, I don't care. Okay, so, then on the sides, where there's none, you want to put a brick block, do it on the other side, so that's basically, uh, one. So basically, I'm going to put a drive-through window here. The drive-through window is just three, um, six blocks knocked out, two blocks on either side, and then leave the inside blank, so that's going to be the drive-through window. Do it like that. Basically, copy what you have on the other side. Should be pretty easy for you guys. Um, you basically already have it on the other side. Uh, so if you need help, just uh, use the other side. Put a row of brick above the um, windows and stuff that you made. Three rows. Of, so you basically can just extend what you have here out. It's pretty easy. So you got the birch, the birch, stand out, and then what? The red concrete. And yeah, and you can obviously do this to the back as well. The back has nothing because that's where we're doing the kitchen. But it depends on what you're doing on the inside. Um, because literally, in the, at the end of the video, I'm only going to show you the inside, because if I show you guys how to make the inside, um, it's just going to make this video twice as long, so. I don't want to do that to you guys, so. Um, I want this tutorial to be pretty simple. That's how all my tutorials are, mostly, except for Burger King. Oh my god, Burger King was the worst. Um, basically, I should extend the windows up like so. So then, 
you do that. Uh, and ba yeah, so basically, obviously, you just copy what you have. Um, but once you've extended the slab, um, that we're not done yet. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, we gotta do the roof. But there's also the there's also a design feature that I have. Uh, so not just this, but like there's also this. I don't know. It just kind of adds some extra like design. Sorry, my leg is itchy. I don't want to stop. You guys can hear my pants uh, moving up and down. But just do this. And this is looking pretty good, guys. We're actually almost done. Like, you've got pretty much a whole bunch of Chick-fil-A complete. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That looks amazing. So, what you want to do after that is, um, on every on the side and the back, uh, one away, in the very middle, you guys can see, the second row of birch, um, and one away from each side, Put a row of red concrete, and that's just kind of add some de extra design. It not, it's not really meant to be anything. It's just some extra design. Uh, you, you guys do not have to put this. This is just for. Uh, this is optional. You guys don't have to do that. It just kind of makes it kind of look a little better, you know. Um, finally, once you've done that, the, uh, you have to fill in the roof with red concrete or whatever you want. And once you've done that, Chick Fil A will be 100% complete. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. So. Yeah, that is pretty much Chick-fil-A complete. So, guys, once you've done that... Uh, okay, I've already said it. I'll have to say it again. <laughs> I've already said it twice now. Um, I'm just used to saying it whenever I do this. I'm just so excited. Like, yay, we're, all, we're, we're almost done! So, um, yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys how to make vehicles, but that will be in the far, far future. Whenever I show you guys how to make, you know, original city builds, like hospitals and stuff... And, you know, fire stations, because I show you guys how to make ambulances, fire trucks, uh, police cars, dump trucks, you know, construction vehicles, and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, guys, that is Chick-fil-A 100% complete, but we got to make a sign. So, sign is simple, um, red and white concrete, and then light gray concrete. So... Put the sign wherever you want. I'm just going to put mine right here. Um, extend. Sign. Uh, kick off sign with seven gray concrete coming up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoopsie. <laughs> seven. And you actually want to add another row beside that. Uh, so we're going to make seat. Put two. Uh, put a row of four um, red concrete on top of that. Uh, put right white concrete on top of that middle. Um, send up by three. Send to the right. Red concrete. Oh yeah, this is just kind of lame. The sign that I originally had, it, it it was just complicated. But guys, that looks lame. Do whatever you want for the sign. I don't care. <laughs> That's just something extra. You don't even have to put a sign if you want to. If you want to. That's just so people driving a mile away can locate Chick Fil A. So. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a like and subscribe. Um, but we're not done yet, because I'm going to show you guys the inside of the Chick-fil-A in my original world, just in case you are so sure what you could put inside your Chick-fil-A. Alright, guys, so here we are in my original world. Original world, sorry. And as you guys notice, I uh, placed some um, things that kind of act as like those overhang things uh, above the thing. And I actually kind of forgot to show you guys how to pretty much, but it's basically just two um, white white concretes above the windows, and it's not that big of a thing, you guys don't have to put those if you guys don't want to, that's just for some extra detail, but guys, once you've reached this point, Chick-fil-A is pretty much uh, complete, unless you fast forward and cheer, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah, so I already gave you a 360 view, you know, we got some seating area, I might as well show you guys the menu board while we're at it, so it's obviously just chicken, pretty much like Chick uh, KFC, and if we come in here, we got the kitchen area, which is all, you know, the um, iron floor. And then we even got storage, flowers, and then we got three cash registers for the cashiers. We got drive through window, we got coffee making area or drinks area, we got fryers, ovens, fryers. Um, we got carpet that, that was like red and white, just to kind of coexist with Chick fil A a bit. Uh, white terracotta floors. Um, White tables and booths, and then we got red tables and booths, and then we got some ta uh, paintings and 
flowers just kind of around the place for decoration. And, uh, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want to the inside. It's your Chick-fil-A, by the way. You know, uh, I have no right to judge. Um, and yeah, that's the, uh, that's the sign that I should, that I'm, ta that I, that I'm talking about. Yeah, that's complicated. <laughs> it's supposed to be the Chick-fil-A logo, but... Guys, um, that is it. I sure hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, but before we go, we must obviously reveal the next city build. Sonic. That is right, guys. Sonic is going to be the next city build. And there's just, just in case you guys can't see the sign there. But, yeah, so... The next city build is going to be Sonic, so definitely look forward to that, but, um, but if, anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a like, subscribe to the channel, road to 200 subscribers, we are almost there, we have recently hit, we have recently hit 180, so, or finally out of the 179 subscriber hole, <laughs> as I so like to call it, so we've been stuck there for like weeks, so. Thanks, thank, thank the person, I think, for, for, god dang it. <laughs> uh, I don't know the name of the particular person, so no shout out, but he will get a shout out in the next video. Um, but yeah guys, I turn notifications on this channel so you won't miss an upload. Also subscribe to my second channel, Logan C224, road to t 10 subs on that channel. I'm not sure if we hit it or not, but yeah, road to 10 subs on that channel. And, uh, also, um, um, what did what, what, what I want to say? Oh yeah, turn notifications. Turn on, <laughs> turn on notifications. Um, on that channel, so you won't miss an upload from that channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.